Monterey is very unique in that we are a population of 28,000 people and we have four to five million tourists or visitors a year. We have a limited amount of streets and infrastructure. Our role is go out there and do whatever we can to avoid emissions from mobile sources. We don't regulate them, but we certainly do fund projects that mitigate mobile source emissions. So one of the things that is very, very powerful are adaptive traffic control systems, roundabout construction, active transportation systems. All of these things play in to developing what we would call just outstanding air quality that we can sustain. The last thing we want is fossil fueled automobiles sitting there idling. So if we can keep them moving, it has the advantage of fighting over tourism, which translates to traffic problems. And secondly, it does cut down on fossil fuels emissions. One of the reasons that we decided on a scoot system is that we can make use of our existing controllers and our traffic management system. And we can also do a combination between our existing detection and installing new detection through video detection. We have very unpredictable peaks. So we have commuter traffic, but we also have visitor traffic and we never know when those peaks are gonna happen. The SKU system, what it does is every two and a half to five minutes, it's able to get all the information from all the intersections and it's able to adjust the split, the cycle times, and the offsets to better serve the traffic that is there. Now, not only is SKU able to adapt and react to the traffic that is seen, it is also able to predict the traffic patterns. What it is, is a way of inviting people to go throughout the town. Sometimes you have an area where you know the traffic will be okay, and you end up going there because you don't want to fight traffic. But now we're opening up the whole town to residents and businesses alike to travel throughout it because they know there's that magical man in this adaptive system that's watching out for them. Well, the city's future is also tied into its past. We want to keep our small town feeling. We want to be a historic center. And we do want to attract tourists so they can enjoy this beautiful place with us. Siemens, ingenuity for life.